Yeah, for some reason the PDF viewer. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm John. I'm a postdoc in Los Alamos at the Center for non Nonlinear Studies, and I'm fairly new to uh, to Jump and Julia, but I'm developing with a uh, carton uh, a new package which I'm gonna gonna introduce uh, in this talk. I, I promise I I take ten minutes maybe. So the the, pro, pro, uh, the problem I'm looking at is a bit complicated, but it all starts with LP. So everyone knows LP, right? Yes. So LP, what do you do? You have you have some some real variables, and you have linear uh, linear objective function in the variables, and you have linear constraints on on this variable. And the problem I want to look at is called GMP, generalized moment problem, and <coughs> The major change to LP is that now your variables are measures. So finite, uh, positive Borel measures, which are supported on some basic semi-algebraic sets. Basic semi-algebraic sets is, is, is are sets that are um, defined by polynomial inequalities. You know them from some of those um, Yeah, so you have... Um, Measure variables, and then of course your linear function of the measure becomes something different. What we actually look at is these, these integrals versus uh, actually your measure, and what is given is actually the function you integrate over. Um, for my purpose, the functions have to be polynomials. Um, and last change to the LP is you have infinitely many constraints, but countable. So that's Maybe a bit complicated uh, problem, but it's really great because it has a huge modeling power. There are books written about which problems you can formulate as a GMP. So easiest example and probably most known is the uh, global optimization. I'm not saying global optimization is easy. I say that's an easy formulation of the generalized moment problem. Um, and basically, what you do is instead of uh, searching for points that minimize your function, you search for integrals of your function. So you, you, you integrate your function with respect to a measure, and you search the measure, search for the measure which is minimizing this function. And it turns out that the optimal <coughs> measure will, will be the, the measure which is concentrated in the minimizing point here. And if there are several points, it, the measure can be concentrated in several points. That makes the problem linear. linear. Um, so this is an easy problem. The problems I'm interested in look more like that. No need to understand what is written there. Um, just saying I have several measures, I have more complicated constraints. Um, and this problem is actually um, solving this partial differential equation. So this is far away from optimization now. But still, we can solve an optimization problem um, to, to, yeah, to find a solution to our original problem. Uh, yeah, I want to say here, so before I relax a point to a measure, now I relax a function to a measure. But it's always the same idea. You have something, uh, some object, and uh, your problem is nonlinear in this object, and the idea is you relax your object to a measure, and then you become you have linear constraints on your measure. So this are linear stuff. Um, so why is the generalized moment problem fake? First of all, it can model things, and second, you can solve it. That's a <laughs> that's a huge, huge advantage. Uh, so if you go back to polynomial optimization, which is very easy, then it's a linear problem, so you have a dual problem to it. And the dual problem here looks like that. So dual cone of measures, say it's a, con a continuous function, actually it's the other way around. But okay, so this is the dual. So you want to maximize some parameter lambda, such as f minus lambda is non-negative, a non-negative function, okay? Um, it's very intuitive. You think of your nonlinear function, you want to push a, a lower bound uh, from below. And 
Here now, uh, f is a polynomial, so f minus lambda is polynomial. So what can we do? We can use um, certificate sets from real algebraic geometry. For example, it's not just the JL, but there are other certificates. Um, and the, the good thing with this is these certificate sets are in front of it uh, computable by LP, SOCP, SDP, um, where are you? <laughs> yeah, projected SDP. So yeah, so this, are, this is computable. So um, here in this, in this case, you could say, well, why should you formulate this problem? You could just solve this problem. But if you go to my, uh, to my partial differential equation example, um, you might really want to formulate it on the moment side and then let some package, some, some Julia package do all the rest and give you the um, SDP or whatever formulation of it. So that's, that's, that's the basic idea um, of the package. Uh, so I want to be able to model generalized moment problems in Julia. So far, I only know that uh, of Glocky Poly, which is a MATLAB package to model a uh, generalized moment problem, and it's pretty static. So there's it's very difficult to change things. And what I'm aiming for with, with this uh, this package is that I can easily change the certificate sets, so from some of those squares going to other, other uh, cones. I want to be able to exploit structure of the problem, like symmetry and sparsity. These are all methods that exist, but they cannot be implemented in the existing packages. And yeah, something very uh, native to jump, uh, switch between different solvers and stuff. I have a prototype avail available, and I'm very happy if someone wants to join the group to work on moments. That's it. Um, so using the moment time squares, um, that gives you a relaxation model. Yep. Um, is there any other cones that uh, give you, a, you know, a sufficient sort of condition, like give you a feasible solution, or some other weird cone? I mean, the sum of squares gives you a yeah, feasible a solution in, in the limit. Yeah. Yeah, and there, there are other relaxations, like LP. So it, it just turns out that the SDP relaxation is kind of the best one so yeah. far. With your um, problems with the, uh, the PDEs, how high do you have to go up the hierarchy of factors? So there we went to um, degree 12. So that pretty low, pretty actually pretty low. Hmm? Fun? It can be but if you say like the the shape of your measure is a polynomial, then you, can you use some of to get your measures? What do you mean by shape of the measure? Like the if you look at the, the density of the measure over mm -hmm. the over the space, mm -hmm. it can be like constant or you can have some shape. Oh, yeah. And you say the shape is a polynomial that can mm -hmm. you use some of squares to get the measure? Yeah. This makes sense. So you, you would compute a sum of square density. 